what's going on guys welcome to my channel there is you know a lot of misconception when it comes to junior developers so you think that you might need to know everything but in reality if you're a junior developer no one expects you to know everything right so if there is one thing that you should have as a junior developer is to have you know that 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 sh that that willingness to learn right so that drive right so that's that's what that's what makes you a good junior developer because what you want to do is make sure that when you you join for example a company we want to see from junior developers that they they want to learn right so we don't expect you to know everything right so that's not the case but if you if you have that willingness that passion and you know you have a reason why you want to be a developer that is sufficient right so you know you know we learn from junior developers and vice versa it's not a thing where you know that's a weird noise down there but um, so, the, the, so the, there is this misconception uh, that you know uh, senior developers don't learn from junior developers. That's not the case. So we learn from each other, and that's what makes um, you know really good for uh, you know companies to hire junior developers, right? So just 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 one advice that I want you to take from 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 me is. If you are a junior developer, we don't expect you to know everything. Um, you know, just have that that passion. You know, just just make sure that you ask questions. And when it comes to questions, there is no dumb question, right? So I remember when I started, I I was afraid of asking like silly questions, right? But like, it's better if you ask questions instead of, you know. Uh, you know try and figure out for yourself because that way right if you have you know the professionals right there right instead of you going to stack overflow you might just ask them right because they might you know give you um, the answer but also you can learn you know why this uh, or why the, the, the thing that you are scared of asking about works you know um, you know a certain way so just 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 take these two advices yeah so make sure to ask questions don't be afraid and be a developer that wants to learn right so you know just 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 think about it for a second we all learn from from somewhere and from other people right so we you know you know fair enough we have talented people that know uh, a bunch of stuff but not everyone is talented, right? Some of us have to learn or had to learn programming, uh, you know, by going to high school when everything was new and some of, some of us, you know, learn faster than, than others. So just, just, just bear in mind that we all had to learn from somewhere and where we learn is on the job, but also by, by asking questions uh, to others right so we learn different skills from other people and that's what makes you a strong developer right so you don't you don't you don't need to know everything from the get-go but you should have you know that passion that willingness to learn and if you have that that will take you a long way throughout your career as a software developer so uh, this is all I really wanted to talk to you about today. Um, go ahead and smash the like button if you haven't done so. Also, subscribe to my channel so I can keep on providing awesome content like this. And if you haven't joined to my private Facebook group, go ahead and let me know what else you want to see from me. Right. So I'm actually taking all of your comments and and you know and and, and trying to compile a bunch of videos to help you to become a software engineer. This is all for now, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.